end of October, people have completed visiting every state capital to rally Christians to humble themselves and ask forgiveness for our sins and the sins of our nation and ask for God's sovereign hand to be upon us and re remove his hand of judgment, God willing. Uh, we need his help, we need his leadership, we need him, we need his son Jesus in our hearts, and this is our reason for going. It's got to begin with us, the believers in Jesus Christ. You know, we're, we're all here today because we realize our country is in trouble. Amen. Okay? We're in trouble. The only hope for this nation is Almighty God. The most important thing that we can do today here in front of your capital is to pray. Amen. We need God's favor today as a nation. Now there are people that say to me, Franklin, it's too late for America. Really? Too late? With God, with God's favor, it's never too late. And we're here today to ask God to forgive us of our sins and to heal our land. And the most important thing we can do right now is pray. Now, you say, but Franklin, what do you want us to do? I want y'all to go back to your communities and begin to form a prayer group. You think God heard our prayers here today? You bet you he did. And when two or three are gathered together in his name, he is in the midst of us. This coming election, has nothing to do with our personalities. You've got two flawed individuals uh, as far as their personality is concerned. The issue is the Supreme Court, and that's what's at stake. But that's that's the most important thing because whoever's president, right out to shoot, the first thing they're going to do is to appoint a Supreme Court justice, and possibly maybe five more during their term. Uh, this is this election is about the Supreme Court, not personalities. Some say, now Franklin, what would your father have done? Now I hear that a lot. They say, what would your father have done? Well, in 1952, he said, I think it's the duty of individual Christians at election time to study the issues, the candidates, and then go to the polls and vote. 